Oh hi, welcome back. Let me show you an effect in Cinema 4D which is called the Spline Effect that allows some 3D objects to go along a path created by this spline which is triangular just like so and then uh, you have these cubes going along the path. Let's make one. So uh, close it just like so and then um, afterwards you want to make a path by clicking on the spline pen. Make any path, for example, um, you know, this triangular path, for example. You can make any path while you're making the lines. This is just an example, actually. <laughs> Let's make the object, for example, I want to put a cube, and then I'm going to be duplicating this cube by using the cloner. Oh, let me do some tweaks with the size first mm, to maybe this. Make sure that the mode is set to model mode, just like so. Afterwards, um, you click on the cloner tool. Cloner object, that's to say, and then drag the cube into the cloner. Afterwards, you change the mode into um, linear. And then you increase the count to, let's say, this. And then you increase the step size so that they are distanced away from each other. Afterwards, you head over to MoGraph, head over to Effector, and then click on Spline, just like so. Drag the spline, which is the triangular line, into the spline so that the cubes can go along the path, which is the triangular line that we just made. And then um, we can do some tweaks. For example, if you want to, um, you know, do some rotation for every cubes, just like so. And then you want to um, do some tweaks with the strength. Ooh, fancy, eh? So uh, from the vertical aligned, the vertically aligned cubes, it will then form this triangle kind of motif as I'm dragging the slider for the strength amount. And then uh, you can apply some fields and then you can uh, move uh, the cubes by uh, dragging the slider for start just like so. Pretty fancy isn't it? You can do animations now by dragging the slider. You can even um, do some tweaks with the um, effector as well by clicking on fields so that uh, the area where the effector is applied is selected within the field. For example, this spherical field. Click on it. And then if we increase the size by clicking on the scale tool. Oh yeah, now, um, you know, the cubes go down one by one in a spherical manner just like so. That's pretty much it about the spline effector in Cinema 4D so that you can create this cool motion graphic kind of stuff. Thank you for watching, do drop a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. But for me, it's good day. Ciao! Fancy.